This episode is sponsored by Vorboss. Check them out in the description below. We hit a thousand subs. We hit a thousand subs. We did, man. Did. It's been a long road. You get a high five for that too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, exactly. I can't high five you. I'll give you an air high five. Let's go for that. Took us eleven months. It's yeah, eleven, eleven, months. 11 easy months. Eleven. To, it was to, a breeze. To get to <laughs> it was a breeze. Subs. Yeah, YouTube doesn't make it easy, man. No, it does not make it easy. Um, but we were five hundred like three months ago. We were. Yeah. So that's interesting. The first six months took us, and also, how long did it take us to get to a hundred? Yeah, I don't actually know. I feel um, like it took us like a that, few months. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can find that out now. Yeah. When we first signed Furniture Box. We were, what, 50, I 50. Think. That was April, wasn't it? Yeah. It was April. It was April. Yeah, so it took us January, February, March, four so months, three months. Three months. Four, th- three or four months to get to 50 subscribers. Yeah. And then it would have taken us, because then they were for three months, and then we 10 x by the time their contract came up. Yeah. So it was three months, so that takes us to April, May, June basically so it took us three months to get our first 50 subs yeah it took us another three months to get from 50 to 500 500. and then it took us another five another three months to get from 500 it took us another three months to get from 500 to To a thousand thousand. yeah which is where we are now yeah which is cool it is fucking cool man seeing that thing on the youtube studio app that says like you're eligible for the youtube partner program that that was like that's a moment that's such a that That is a a moment that is like a a moment for 11 months in the making yeah okay that needs to through blood sweat and tears just crawling and scraping your fingernails to get to the to get to the edge it does feel good to finally get there to have built a youtube channel that's got to a thousand subscribers like that's no a lot of people don't get that far Mm. some people do as as we've discussed by like reviewing stupid shit yeah but a lot of people don't getting to a thousand in two weeks inexplicably yeah i like exactly i just don't that i remember when when that happened when that happened and then we were talking about it we went for a walk like the next day and you were like can't lie man it kind of fucked with me because we've been putting so much work in yeah of course it did (laughs) (laughs) who wouldn't you have to be human you have to be like yeah like no it was so funny which of course yeah of course um, but it also makes no sense why that is the case. Yeah, I know. Absolutely no know. sense at all. Yeah, I was just talking in my no car. No one can answer that. No. Like, but... But it is what it is. Um, I do think um, one of the things that we've learned, or at least I've reflected on with this in the last like month, is that it's definitely not a coincidence that in the month that we've been going insanely ham with YouTube shorts, that is what how, has taken but, us over but the line. How many times have I said to you, dude, we need to be getting shorts out? We, yeah. need, we need to be doing short form and yeah. you're like yeah, yeah it's coming it's coming it's coming yeah, we'll yeah. get it done we'll get it done yeah and it's like and, and now we finally got it done skif? what sorry <laughs> do you want to cut them skif? yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. that's fair that's fair i will give you that i will give you that but you're right there is no, there's not a yeah. coincidence it's not a yeah. coincidence at all like the fact yeah. that it's you know the content has has aligned with us growing yeah yeah it's not it's not and also barney's picked up a couple of tips recently that he's figured out himself that has had a massive impact on the views for them which has made a big difference but yeah realizing like the way that Barney's been editing them has been ridiculous. It has. It's been really good. It's been sick. Yeah. Um, Kudos to you, man. And yeah, uh, no worries. I was actually talking to another creator, about a podcast creator, about this yesterday. And I was basically like showing them stats for their shorts and showing them stats for ours. And they're a much bigger channel. And I was like, this is what our views are doing. And they were like, how is that the case? And I was like, because it's the way you're making the shorts. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so it is really, really cool to see that like that, that kind of work has paid off. Definitely, definitely. I mean, it, like, the quality of the content we're putting out now is incomparable yeah. to the content we were putting out in our first couple of episodes. Yeah. Incomparable. It also shows how, in the beginning, we thought, like, didn't we say by the end of the year we were going to be on, like, 10K or something? Yeah, so we were sat in your car uh, end of last year, end of 23. Yeah. And uh, I was saying to you, like, okay, like we should put some goals in place for the business. Where end of 23? Uh, sorry, end of 22. Right, right, right. End of right. 22. Um, like, where do we want to get to with the business yeah. and this kind of stuff? We should put some goals in place, financial goals. Uh, and I said to you, I was like, right, look, by the end of 2023, we need to be doing 10K a month. Yeah. Like, that is our that is our goal. Yeah. Um, we didn't quite get there. Nope. Um, but, uh, hey, you, like, shoot for the moon and then... Was that 10K a month? I forgot. Was it 10K a month from the podcast? Well, that's what we had at the time. Yes, it was. Exactly. That yeah, you're right. At the time. So it was 10K a month from, yeah, it was going to be from the podcast, which yeah. was ambitious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Slash that is, uh, that is a lesson that has been learned as well. But this is the thing. It's like with this sort of with this sort of uh, content, who knows where this could be this time next year hmm. is the truth. That's true. Who knows? <laughs> who knows, Literally, it could, it could go anywhere. It, it could, could go, go literally anywhere. Literally either way. We um, don't know. Thinking about what we've learned along the way, I do think it's cool how it's taken us 11 months to get 1,000 subs. Mm. But I think if I was to start a new podcast tomorrow, I reckon I could do that in six now. 
Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Just quickly, so I managed to get some of the data. We hit a uh, hundred subscribers on the twenty second of February. Twenty second of February. So, okay, yeah, yeah. just over a month, and then yeah, yeah, wow, ten times that. Interesting. That okay. Sense. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, but I agree with you. I think if mm. like if if we if like either of us started a podcast now, I think the growth that we could get to where we wanted it to be we could be would be so much quicker massively so much quicker because so you just yeah and you just it's like what mr beast said about youtube it's like yes. a lot of it is knowledge i think it is harder to grow a podcast than a youtube channel because with a podcast it's so, so sorry by podcast i meant podcast in this format i like if, like going down on youtube as in like growing on youtube no yeah i know i'm, I'm saying on that i think it's harder to grow a podcast on youtube than it is to grow a, a, a just a youtube channel rather than a podcast youtube mm. channel because i think podcasts just generally seem to grow slower because they're you're asking more from the audience off the back like mm. you're, you're you're serving them up usually roughly an hour of footage um and so it's quite a big ask of a viewer especially if they don't know who you are that's true for them to psychologically invest in what you're putting out yeah um but uh, so it is harder, I think, to do that than grow a YouTube channel. However, that being said, I do still think there is so much of it that comes down to practice and experience and things that you learn along the way. Definitely. And, you know, it goes to show that how we were marketing our episodes at the beginning and how our episodes looked at the beginning, mm. how the interviews went. And then you put that to how they are now. It really is night and day, which is which is cool. It is cool to see the progress of it. I think also just the content itself, as in the way we structured the interviews, how like the interviews were, yeah, how dynamic the interviews were, and this. I mean, that again got better and better. Our questions got better and better as the interviews went on. Mm. Um, and so yeah, it's nice to see, and we finally can say that we've hit a, we've hit a K, which is cool. Mm. Having yeah, that little cool. K by the name, yeah, it feels good. It, that's I was literally saying that to Skeef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you came in, I was like, it's so nice to like look at the subscriber count and see like yeah, okay. Oh, it is 100 yeah, really nice. um what have been in your opinion mm. the highlights over the last 12 months that we've been doing this now highlights um what have been the moments that stick in your mind stick in your mind good question i think there's 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 quite a handful i think one is definitely when we did charlie's episode yes that was a moment that was the first one where it was like that was the first big guest we had it was the first big guest so that was huge and fair play to you for bagging that that was all you nothing but net just whoosh, swoosh got it um but i i i meant in terms of the views i think oh, of course. when it was like yeah. guys charlie's got a thousand views mm. and it was like guys charlie's got two thousand views it's like dude it was it's four thousand now it's five thousand now it's ten thousand i remember you saying at that point it was like dude you guys we're, we're never going to go back we're just going to continuously get like yeah. 10 50 100 oh. subs every single day and because i didn't know anything about youtube at that point i was like yeah he's probably like probably fine that would, would, would make sense and then we learned that lesson didn't oh we? man i remember it's ride. the same thing as like ride. when you when you make a sale from a business and you're like this is it we've gone from not making money to making yeah. money and now the money's gonna roll in yeah, yeah. and you just up. think well by this point we'll be at fucking 20k this month and it's the same thing and it is so crazy because you're, it's like you're spending the money you don't even have yet in 100%. your head. It's yeah. the same thing, but with views. It's like, oh, dude, well, if we're getting 10,000 views on this interview, and it's our second one. Yeah. Dude, the next one we're going to do is exactly. going to get 50,000. Yeah, we'll hit 1,000 subs in like three months. By yeah. This rate. It's fine. It's easy. Yeah. Um, That's why in a weird way, like Vanita's one is more satisfying for me. Yeah. Because that felt more in our control. Mm. Like we released that and we were like, this is going to be big. Whereas yeah. Charlie's, what, Charlie's took a while after we released it. And I think it was it due did. to whether i can say outside factors i think it was yeah it, was. it, was, um, it coincided with other things but um, you know you need a little bit of luck sprinkled in anyway that's true yeah that's true but yeah i see what you mean about benitas that was more like we figured that one was going to do was going to do yeah, well because of our following it makes sense um and also because of how we edited it true well, i say how we edited how, it how, how barney, barney edited, edited it. it but also like how we came together in terms of deciding the thumbnail that was i think that was the one where we first rebranded the thumbnails was it i believe with the black I background so. i think that I think was the first so, yeah. the first one yeah um so yeah so uh, so hitting like 10,000 views and eventually i think charlie's got just under 30 or around 30. 33 i think 33, 33. Yeah. 33. Yeah. Closing on yeah. 34. so to have like uh to get a video that hit five figures that was a big one definitely mm -hmm. hitting 100 subs was a big one getting our first sponsor was a yes. huge moment i remember that clearly as well and 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 weirdly it's not even because of the money because we didn't make any money off no, it didn't. because we took all that money and then invested in in the studio so we doubled down into the business so it wasn't even about like oh great look i'm finally making money from my podcast it was about the fact that an outside force validated our idea yeah it was about having someone or people or in this case dan and monty uh who ran a very successful run a very successful business and having them be like i see value in this i think it's good i want to put my name attached to it 
that is just a really nice reinforcement and to get that really early on when it is really bleak when mm. you know podcasts are like i mean i know that big youtube videos take a lot of effort but you know podcasts take a lot of effort you have to like you know book the guest and go back and forth to try and get them yeah. to agree to come on There's then you have then the you have to find a time for them to come on then you all have to coordinate as a team to be there at the same time. You have to think about like, you know, what you're going to ask them and what the research involved yeah. is and what the topic's going to be about. Then you have to sit down and figure out what the edit's going to look like, what you leave in, what you don't. Then you have to agonize over the title and the thumbnail. So it's like, it's multi-day and there's a lot of effort behind it. And then when you're doing that and it comes out and it gets like 17 views, it's when you've when you've like you know you're on the train for 45 minutes to get to a studio and then you sit down and then the guest doesn't turn up and, and you pay you, to pay to sit down with them at the same time and you pay well. yeah and so you're paying you're paying and in a at, lot of at, at that point like 100 or 110 quid to, to sit down yeah. and then someone is ill last minute which they can't help or someone yeah, yeah. you know had a gets, situations like that. gets caught in traffic and they're like actually by the time i get there it will be like an hour late so let's just reschedule and you're like yeah. right we lost hundreds of pounds. Oh, easily. By just guests not 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 being there easily. for whatever reason. And so when all of that happens and then you put something out and it gets like 50 views, it can really, really mess with you. It does. But then at the same time, I think it makes you, it does make you think, right, okay, you're either in this or you're not. Yeah. Because at that point you think, right, okay, I'm, I've got like four videos out. They're getting 15 views each. We're either going to scrap this because it's not going to work, which is what the statistic is, which is 90% of people right. give up on that, however many podcasts in. Um, whereas, you know, we were like, actually, no, that's fine. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Mm. And like tracking past every single obstacle, not to do with the studio, but just the podcast. Mm. Um, and I think it's testament to, to us to be able to actually just push through that because it is tricky when you're investing that time, money, effort mm. um, into it and you're getting 15 views. Yeah, it's tough. So it's yeah, the resilience is a big one. Um, other than that, I think another big moment was obviously getting the studio yes um, that was definitely a big moment for us and then subsequently a big moment was when the first time we recorded in this studio like that being the first like this is actually operational now i think that was really a big milestone um i remember with this with the studio that was just such a shit show oh, man. getting getting this, even getting even the just studio. like when yeah. you're talking about like how far we've come in terms of editing and stuff like that i remember that episode with tristan uh, who I think was the first one in here right. uh, with the cameras yes. that wouldn't last. Uh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. The, cam the cameras wouldn't yes. go an hour without switching off. I remember. So I was stood behind all and you three would be like trying to yeah. manage. I was, like, yeah, yeah, I was I trying to make that. sure that at least one of them was, was going, on yeah, yeah, yeah. so I that forgot. I could cut between the angles. I, remember yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, you'd be standing behind the cameras and then you'd hear one you'd go... You'd be basically waiting and then like pounce on the one that's yeah. about to go hot to then turn that one on to make sure that they're all just recording And we point. thought a solution... We thought we had a solution when Barney was like, I think I've realised what I can do is I'm going to anticipate when one might be about to shut off yeah. and I'll shut it off. Before, like I'll pre-expect like pre it and then, I'll sh and then I'll turn this one off. And But it was that thing of like, you're interviewing your guest and then halfway through them saying something, it goes, diddle-loon. Yeah, and, and, like, and then they kind of go, is that? And you're like, no, no, don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah, no, no, Barney's on it. All good. And then yeah. diddle-loon. Yeah. Doodle -loon, and then it's just like this <laughs> musical, like this orchestra going on in the background. So uh, I forgot about that. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a very good point. So yeah, those are my ones. What about, what about yours? Um, I think they're similar, to be honest with you. I think, yeah, getting our first first 50 subs and getting our sponsor was a big yeah that was a big moment um getting charlie was was big i think just it, it like it gave us or gave me confidence in the fact that we could actually book big guests mm. it was like we only had i don't know 30 subs maybe at that point 40 subs or something but the fact that we could get someone as good as charlie or as influential as charlie onto our podcast gave us you know reassurance that we could actually get big mm. names on so that was a, a big moment getting dan and monty behind the idea again was was big yeah um i think I think the studio obviously again was also a big thing. I think there's like, like a lot of the big moments are similar. Um, and I think going and like, I think for some reason, I don't know why, but it sticks in my head of getting this desk. That was another big going thing. to get it. To going to get it. Yeah, that was a that, great, that, that was a that, great day. Um, that really sticks in my mind getting this. Uh, Cause we had to basically go up to a manufacturer. We got it maybe like walk around the factory, picked a design, picked like LEDs and went through it and stuff. And it was a whole kind of day trip basically. Yeah. Um, Why do you think that sticks with you so much? I think we like, we had, uh, we had some interesting conversation, I think in the car on the way there. I remember. That I, that also sticks in my mind. Um, but Is I that think, the conversation? I think I'm not going to say it, but was that the conversation where about, about like, um, what's like a word I can say? Was it like, of of our sort of Re like relating yes relating. yes that was the we one yeah, yeah 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 it was that so i remember that um and then i think partly because it was just an enjoyable day and it, it gave us we'll tell it, you off air 
yeah. just in case he thinks it was something about like about yeah, him. Yeah, 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 another conversation yeah, yeah, about, yeah, about yeah, like yeah. Uh, we're gonna need. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't want to give it away, but <laughs> Barney, uh, let's say, and 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 fire. Yeah, I don't want to give something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Those two words fell into the conversation. But anyway, um, I think it just kind of like solidified the fact that we were doing it. It was like okay, we're buying an expensive piece of furniture. Mm. To basically that was double the price that we thought it was going to be. Was <laughs> it cost more than the rent for this yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, um, yeah, for some reason, once you once we bought that, I was like, okay, this is real. We're actually putting like serious money behind yeah. this. So that was a moment. I think putting our money in as mm. well was another big moment because mm. um, it was not a small investment that we that we made. Knew it was not. Um, <laughs> Uh, it was not small i can make a joke about that but i'm not going to that's that's fine yeah Ooh. i feel like the those are kind of the big moments that stick in my mind mm. um i think for me personally being being able to sit down with mario was a huge thing mm. like because i'd followed him for a while uh and i had a lot of admiration for what he'd done yeah. um so i thought it was really cool to be able to sit down with him specifically for me that was a great interview uh it was he, he was, was an he awesome was, guy he was so cool like really so, really cool. So cool um so yeah uh and i think yeah it's just been there have been quite a few highlights and it's been up and it's been down. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I think the podcast has been mostly down. Mm. We've obviously made it to where we are now and we've got to this point and like kudos to us for doing that. But I think we would all agree that actually the losses have definitely outweighed the wins in terms of yeah. frequency, not in terms of, I suppose, level. Like yeah. The wins have been massive. We've had lots of little losses, I think. Mm. Um, yeah, to to this point. I would definitely agree with you on that. It's definitely... Um... I think one th if if there's one thing that I've learned more than anything else it's that and I say this as someone who even before this podcast was doing another podcast so I was already doing a podcast for like a couple months two three months before that so I already had some experience in it but I think one thing I've learned off the back of doing that and now much more extensively off the back of doing this it's that for people that think a podcast is easy and it's just yeah you like you rent a studio you sit down with your mate have a little conversation and then you know you do it for long enough the views just start coming in really if anyone who thinks that is never going to make a good podcast or a right podcast. but i think uh, dude i don't know i i would be i you think disagree? yeah i think a, I, 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 okay, I, okay. I, I think pretty... i think the one i think the one thing that i've that i've learned through like not just these but all the other ones that i've worked on is that obviously like there is the like oh you have the persistence element like you can follow the um, the, the guidelines yeah. that all like the big creators will say it's similar for youtube really but yeah. there's always going to be that massive exception where like you look at it and you go like they're doing nothing of everything that you're supposed to do mm. and yet they're growing at a yes, ridiculous that rate is true. just because of some random factor that yes, is that, is, that is to that point there are two podcasts that i'm yes, not gonna name that we found recently that we, we found like recently a couple months ago a month ago or something. that have no, they don't even have like a channel banner they no. their thumbnails are terrible they don't even have like big guests or anything i think one of them had one big guest one of them had that, that, that one, that's yeah. what basically like drew the like, yeah. through the channel um but they they and their and their interviews were like terrible yeah was not nothing, being that no, guy but no, they there was nothing there was nothing special about the conversation nothing at all it wasn't even like the hosts or anything like famous nothing yeah and they had like it looked like their channel had just been slapped together overnight and they had like two or three k one of them yeah. one of them had like four or five k yeah and I, and it was just what i'm looking at that and then we looked at our channel and we're like everything like the branding is pristine the editing is like top tier yeah. we've we've agonized over like all the right analytics and the ways yeah. to title things and we're taking seo into account and we're making mm. shorts using the latest trends and and then and we were on like 600 subs and getting like you know 200 views on an episode having been going for like nine months slogging and then you away, slogging though. away and then you see some random podcast with people that's not even that entertaining and it's got no branding or anything and it's got like 1.5k views and you're like how it was quite demoralized that's the bit that, that, that fucks that with you point. it really does and it's not about like a jealousy thing it's about it's, it's the frustration is not oh there's another podcast doing better than us that's not what it is it's not like we look at Stephen no, Bartlett that'd be ridiculous. and we're like how the fuck is Stephen Bartlett doing yeah, it no. we interview better than him yeah, no. it's not that it's about when you see someone who's seemingly putting in like next to no effort and following none of the guidelines like Barney said and then doing like maybe 10x better than you you're like I, it's more the frustration of like I don't know what the rules are yeah, I don't it, know what the really, rules yeah, are they were, yeah I don't know what the rules are I don't think there are rules to be honest I think the only yeah. thing I would say to that podcast that we looked at was that they had a decent personal following um, yeah I forgot yeah that's true uh, which I think definitely helped but yeah. either way the point stands of like I don't know how they managed to get to where they are with the content yeah. that they were putting out but that's just that's life it is life <laughs> that is life but um, I agree with you that I'd say the losses have definitely outweighed the wins mm. especially in terms of frequency yeah and it is really hard work mm. and people don't see that 
but yeah, so it is it is a slog and I've definitely learned that this attitude that I think a lot of people have to podcasting with it being this like easy thing that you just turn up and talk. Um, I think people mistake simplicity with ease. True. I think people see the setup and they go, oh, it's just Ollie and James. Like it's Ollie and James, they're best mates. They sit down, they get one person in that they want to sit down with, ask them a few questions yeah. and then they uh, put the video on YouTube and... Uh, yeah. And now they've got a thousand subs. Yeah, and they've got like a sponsor pen. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. This is really, really straightforward. The yeah. sponsor was like a previous guest they had. Yeah. So that was obviously really easy. Like, yeah. well, should <laughs> exactly, be like, yeah. should be really straightforward. So you're like, I can't wait yeah. to have a conversation with someone that turns around and says that to me at some point. Yeah. If they do. Yeah. Because I, I, there's just so much ammunition to go with. But there's a part of me that's like, you can either do like two routes. You either go down the route of being like, okay, cool, dude. Yeah, you think it's easy, go ahead, do it. Yeah. Like, that's fine. I don't have time to fucking yeah. explain that to you. That's cool. Or you yeah. just go in. Yeah. And basically just fucking obliterate them. You go, you have like, no idea. Yeah, exactly. And you go, brrr, and just, Exactly. Uh, so I don't know which one I'd choose. But if they did want to do it, we are groundfloor.co.uk. That is very <laughs> true. That's a, nice, that a nice plug right there. Let's here's, go for that. Here, here's, yeah. here's the yeah. plug. Guys, podcasting is not easy. But if you want it to be as easy as it can be, come to Ground Floor Studios. If you want to record in this studio, always plug in, baby. Always plug in, if you, shamelessly. If you want to record in this studio and you want to use all of our setup, you want all the editing done, you don't want to have to fiddle about with SD cards, you don't want to have to download Premiere Pro and start messing about with effects, you don't want to have to make all the shorts and be like, how do I get it where the captions, like the word color changes for that? We do all of that. So yes, podcasting is very hard. Don't be demoralized, kids. But if you want to give it a go, you could make it. It could be you. And if you want that to be you, then record it here at wearegroundfloor.co.uk. Book we'll leave now. Leave a link in the bio. We'll leave a link in the bio. Book now. Prices may last. Prices may last. <laughs> Prices <laughs> may last. It could be free actually yeah. in twenty four hours. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. So anyway, it's been uh, it's been a good twelve months up until now. It's been fun, and we've learned a hell of a lot from doing it. We've made some really cool connections as well. That's very true. Uh, really cool connections. Like our phone book is definitely stronger than it was. Hell we, yeah. Then we first started out, which is really cool. Hell yeah. Um, that is definitely one of the biggest benefits, I think, of doing what we were doing, mm. I would say. It's or in interviewing people. No, in yeah, interviewing people. I think actually to build out your... It's such a good way to build out your network. It's a warm way to get people in the room. 100%. And they you know, are actually really amenable to helping you after the show. Mm. Like we still stayed in touch with pretty much everyone that we've sat down with. I think it's been a really cool, cool 12 months. It'll be interesting to see how it develops. 100%. Hell yeah. Thousand subs, baby. Let's go. Love it. Guys, hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. We will. Adios.